Hello, I'm Ingrid with Carver County Public Libraries. Welcome. I am here going to talk to you about a few of the books that I recently read that I enjoyed and that you might as well. The first one is Dennis Lehane's Small Mercies. Um, all of our copies of the book are currently checked out, so I got you a copy of the cover. Um, please go to our website, carverlib.org, to place a hold on this really, really good book. Um, it was at times a tough read, uh, but definitely a satisfying book. It is set in 1974 Boston during a heat wave, um, and the city has just decided to desegregate the schools and enforce busing, which causes tensions on all sides. Um, and so there's a lot of the history of the bus riots in the, the city, but the main story is about Mary Pat Hennessy who is born and raised in Southie and realizes that her 17 year old daughter has gone missing. Um, Mary Pat tries to enlist the help of some of her Irish mob friends. They uh, dissuade her from searching for her daughter. They say, ah, she's just run off with a guy. Don't worry about it, Mary Pat. Um, they get to the point of threatening her to back down, but there is nothing more dangerous than a mother searching for her missing child. And she doesn't stop at anything to try and find her daughter. Um, there is a lot of the history of the city and the riots that went on because of the busing. Uh, there is a lot of bad language and difficult language. And it is appropriate to the time. It's not always appropriate. Well, it's definitely not appropriate today. Um, and so just be forewarned. But the story was phenomenal. Um, my next book is a little bit more fun. This is Vera Wong's Unsolicited Advice for Murderers, and it is written by Jesse Q. Sutanto. Um, it was a delight. It was so fun to read this book. It is a cozy crime mystery with laugh out loud moments. Um, it is witty, wry humor, lots of heart. It's a story about um, a, creating a family in what you have. Vera is a little old lady, a widow who owns a tea shop. She wakes up one morning and finds a dead body in the middle of her tea shop. She calls the police. She does not believe they are capable of finding the murderer. So she decides she is going to do this. She quickly finds four suspects. She befriends them, um, starts giving them motherly advice. And it is just such a fun book. There were moments I just laughed aloud. Vera is absolutely ridiculous, um, but so um, lovable. And the characters in this book and the story were really, really fun. And the mystery was good. I had no idea what actually happened until, you know, the last couple chapters when I was like, oh, maybe it was that guy or maybe it was that girl. Um, really, really good book. So Vera Wong's Unsolicited Advice for Murderers is a fun, light crime mystery. My final book is by a Minnesota author. It's her debut novel. It is called Ink Blood Sister Scribe. It is written by Emma Tors, who is a professor at McAllister. Um, it is a bit of dark academia, magical realism, a mystery, little thriller to it too, because it gets exciting. Um, it's the story set in a regular world, but there's magic here. Um, there are books that are written with magic spells. They're written in blood. Um, it's not creepy kind of sounds creepy, but, um, and there are people who are scribes that can write these books. Then there are people that have the magic that can read the spells and, um, centers around a family that has for centuries tried to protect a library of books. Um, and these two sisters that have been estranged come together to figure out why their father died. Um, he was killed by a book. Um, and the beginning I, was a little hard to get into at first because I didn't quite understand what was happening. And it's told from the point of view of three different characters. 
But then once those stories connected, it was phenomenal. And I couldn't put this book down. Um, the magic system was really clever and fun. Um, you know, books are magic, right? Uh, anyway, I hope that you enjoy that one. And again, all three of my books are just on paper because they're all currently checked out. But please go to carverlib.org to place them on hold. Um, they are all also available on Libby as ebooks and e audiobooks. And speaking of which, I listened to an audiobook recently. It is Rememberings by Sinead O'Connor. It is her memoir that she wrote 2020, 2021. Um, and the audiobook is read by her, and it was truly wonderful to listen to her voice speaking her words um, and hearing her story. So that's another good one. There was a bonus book. All right. I hope that you enjoy these books, and um, I will see you again soon, and support your public libraries. Thanks. Bye-bye.